Funding for the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, Iowa Farm Bureau, Girls State Volleyball Championships is provided by... The path to greatness starts early. The Iowa Farm Bureau believes in Iowa's youth and their pursuit of greatness. That's why we're proud to be the title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Each student's effort is important, and when one rises, we all rise to a better Iowa. Fairway, along with Nabisco, Frito-Lay, and Sara Lee, is a proud sponsor of the Iowa Girls Sports Championships. We congratulate all the schools and student athletes participating in this year's Girls High School State Volleyball Championships. Fairway, proud to care for the places we work and live. By Musco Lighting, the sports lighting specialists, providing lighting systems for you, your project, and your community. state championship volleyball here from downtown cedar rapids at the u.s cellular center it's the class 2a state championship game as it will be top ranked western christian taking on the second seeded beckman catholic trailblazers Hi again, everyone, with former Iowa Hawkeye coach Sandy Stewart. This is B.J. Shaben, and Sandy, this has gone chalk all the way here to the final game, but what a matchup. Exactly. Two great fan bases here as well, and both teams have come through 3-0 all the way through, so someone's got to fall tonight. We'll see who it is. Let's take a look at Beckman and how they got here. Beckman Catholic, of course, a terrific season, third straight trip to the state tournament, eighth overall. Posted regular season wins over six teams that qualified for state, and look out for Jada Wills. Exactly, their leader on the floor, great offensive player, but also a great defensive player, good all-around player that leads the, uh, the Trailblazers tonight. Their opponent, Western Christian, yeah, you might have heard of them before, especially <laughs> here in Cedar Rapids, a state record 37th trip to state also, defending 2A champions, they've got four starters coming back, including Postma and Van Hole, and their head coach, Tammy Burbeek. She's going for history here tonight. Yeah, amazing, amazing program. The legacy at Western Christian is just unrivaled. And with five seniors starting, I would say I'd give them a nod, but, you know, we'll see what happens tonight. Should be a good match. It's time now to go to the public address announcer, Gina Rogers. Welcome to today's 2019 Girls State Volleyball Championship presented by Iowa Farm Bureau. Now, let's meet our teams. Fans, please welcome to the floor the Beckman Catholic Trailblazers. They're going for their first ever state championship in school history. Can they do it against the perennial power? Yeah. What a crowd. Great venue here in Cedar Rapids at the U.S. Cellular Center. And now, please welcome the Western Christian Wolfpack. How about this? They've reached the state championship match 18 of the last 19 years, including 10 straight. Going for their school's 12th state title. Just amazing, just amazing, quite a dynasty. And it's now time to introduce the players and coaches in today's championship matchup. First, the non-starters and assistant coaches for the Beckman Catholic Trailblazers. Number two, Chloe Ungs. Number four, Nell McDermott. Number five, Michaela Kelker. Number seven, Jaden Welling. Number 10, Jordan Helley. Number 11, Leah Wessels. Number 14, Lauren Osterhaus. Number 16, Keely Schmidt. The assistant coaches are Chris Ray, Mackenzie Atwater, and Jennifer Zittleman. And now, the starters for the Trailblazers. Number three, Ashley Ingleken. Number six, Paige McDermott. Number eight, Kirsten Schmidt. Number nine, Jada Wills. Number 12, Haley Legrand.
number 13, Kylie Reber. The libero is number 15, Olivia Hogan. Head coach for the Trailblazers is Todd Troutman. Now, let's meet the non-starters and assistant coaches for the Western Christian Wolfpack. Number zero, Lydia Van Clay. Number five, Emily Heinen. Number six, Hannah Collis. Number eight, Courtney Collis. Number nine, Abby Postma. Number 11, Jaden Faber. Number 13, Emma Westfall. Number 14, Stella Winterfeld. The assistant coaches are Mindy Dieger and Kayla Bartman. Now the starters for the Wolfpack. Number two, Olivia Grenstra. Number three, Tori Wienia. Number four, Ali Postma. Number seven, Madison Viss. Number 10, McKay Vant Hall. Number 12, Sienna Moss. The libero is number one, McKenna Koima. Head coach for the Wolfpack is Tammy Verbeek. The officials for the match are first referee, Chris Armstrong. Second referee, Beth Sibinar Woodall. Line judges are Greg Resper and Ted Mosier. Now let's play state championship volleyball! Great crowd for this Class 2A state title game. Let's take a look at the keys to the game. What does Dyersville Beckman Catholic need to do to pick up the win here? A couple things I think are going to be critical for uh, Beckman Catholic tonight is their defensive transition. Really get into, into their offensive flow, their offense into them quickly to try and um, beat the big block, the big uh, power block for Western Christian. Also aggressive serving. With the offense at Western Christian run, Bethlehem Cackling serving tough will keep them uh, out of sync. And then on the other side of the net, Western Christian. You know, kind of what they've done all year. They're a very balanced team, five seniors starting, a lot of experience. So that balanced attack is going to be, again, critical tonight. And also at their uh, dominant height advantage in blocking. They are very tough to block, um, to hit around a big block. So that'll be critical tonight. It's, bringing their A game at the net as well. Let's see how these two teams made their way to this title game. Western Christian, of course, knocked off Hudson, then Osage. And Beckman Catholic winners against Van Buren and Clarion Goldfield Dows, both sweeping their way to this championship game. And we're following true to form, one versus two tonight. So, so you don't see that often, but they held their position all the way through the state tournament. This is going to be fun. Western Christian and Beckman Catholic. Dyers, or excuse me, Beckman Catholic wearing their green and gold for the Blazers and Western Christian in maroon trimmed in white with black uniforms. Of course, we'll get things started here with McKenna Coima, the 5'4 senior. The libero will serve it up here for the Wolfpack. And one of those... Uh, seven seniors on the team. <laughs> They've been here before. They have 15 state titles sitting in their trophy case up in hole. And great strategy. He's starting her in the service position. She's their number one server. Had five ace serves in the sem uh, quarterfinal match earlier this week. And plays a great libero position in the back row. And right away, Beckman Catholic attacks the middle, and they pound one home here. Right off the bat, they show that keys to the game that I mentioned, the defensive transition to offense to a quick attack. They did it there. They beat, were able to beat the uh, Western Christian block on that uh, great transition. Paige McDermott with that kill, the lone starter back from last season's team, and Western Christian with a side out. Great set there by Grenstra. She's their quarterback, their leader, and she really distributes the ball well. Great outside kill there. Winya on the serve. See the lefty there. And how about the punch down by Jada Wills? A little change up with a knuckler. A little smart shot there. Really wasn't in the best position to swing hard and saw the open spot right in the middle of the court. Nice little roll shot kill.
Kelker, she's a junior. Comes in off the bench and does some setting as well. And the put back for the height up front with McKay Van Holt, 6'1 senior, holding strong. All right, big, big team. They've got seven players that are 5'11 or better, so. Uh, Beckman Catholic's gonna really have to cover well and run a quick offense to really beat that block tonight. Really nice pass. A terrific dig, but it was just enough as Courtney Collis was unable to handle it there for Western Christian and Kirsten Schmidt, the sophomore, gets the kill. Really nice effort there on the defensive side and a nice uh, back set there to the right side of the court there for the kill. And you see that slide attack plays quite a bit. And it pays off as McKay Van Hole with another kill. Great. Tallest player on the team there, 6-1. She runs a really nice slide attack. Great set there by Granstra. Really impressed with Granstra on the offense she runs. She really uh, distributes the ball well. Abby Postma on the serve. And the front line of Beckman Catholic getting it done. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. <laughs> you know, it's smart play. They know big blocks up there. They're going to have to do a, tips like that. They're going to have to use the block and not just uh, swing away. They're going to have to hit smart, and that was a good one there. Here's Olivia Hogan. Really beautiful pass. Right up out of the back by Wills. And it will be a side out to Western Christian. Yeah, hit her in a little bit early. Set was a little off the net. You've got to kind of be patient on that and uh, didn't quite clear the net. Again, of course, that block is uh, intimidating up there and that probably had something to do with it as well, so. And miscommunication on the pass there. All right, nice attempt on the quick set. Went up a little bit uh, hesitant. Well, Misconnection there on that quick set out to the three position, but nice try. Good idea to kind of keep that block spread out. And Grandstra on the serve. And a free ball and see where she goes. Big opportunity, and they go swinging with Winya, but it's handled by Beckman. And the putback though in the middle, the height <laughs> across the board. Emma Westfall at 5'11". Right, and only a sophomore, but great block. And again, Beckman's going to really have to cover those hitters against that big Western Christian block. And no coverage was there. Especially on a tight set, you've got to read that and pull in to cover. Nice hustle by the center. And it was able to be put down here by Beckman Catholic. That's Schmidt with the kill to earn the big side out here for the Trailblazers. See that again here. Yeah, nice little back set. Really nice swing on the right side. Got her shoulders turned. Beautiful kill on the right side attack there. I believe that was Schmidt again. Only a sophomore. Mm. Uh-oh. Wessel, <laughs> but the, the serve set it up. Oh, yeah, nice Wessel. serve. A little bit of a scramble. Almost were able to save that, but again, nice serving. We talked about that as a key for Beckman to serve tough, keep Western Christian out of their offense as much as possible. Sophomore will put it in play again. Oh. And that was blocked out. Strong swing there by Winya. Nice try there by McDermott and Unz. Had a pretty good block up there, but got to turn those hands into the ball rebounds into the court and not out of the court. Nice kill there for Troy Winya. There's that coverage. Good job, Beckman. The scramble pays off, and here we go. Making some great defensive plays. And it was this hit there by Chloe Ungs. Yeah, that lot really usually probably using, uh, ready to use her uh, overhead pass there. All the players should have good ball handling skills, but sometimes it catches you off guard and you're not quite ready to handle the ball. Western Christian matching their largest lead here, and it's Short lived as this time McDermott puts the hammer down. Beautiful, uh, quick, quick combination there. Again, that quick attack is going to be uh, critical for Beckman to beat that block. Nice, nice quick set there from, uh, I believe that was Kelker that made the, the set there. Angle can serve. Long. Close. Good call there by the line person. 
Now McKenna Coimo will serve again. She had an ace to open up this match. Boy, she really swings that Jada Wills. Big arm swing. She goes again. That time took something off, yeah. but it was a bailout. <laughs> Boy, both teams kind of scrambling just to get the ball over the court there. Offense, we'll see who can settle down right, first. Well, I think the longest rally so far tonight. Tremendous floor yeah. coverage by both. <laughs> yeah. Free ball here for Western Christian. Right. Here we go with this one. And it's blocked, but held <laughs> back in. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this is great. What a Ooh. point. And finally <laughs> earned by McDermott wow. at the net. Wow, some great coverage, great court coverage on both sides, great rally, way to stay with it. Look at that good coverage. I thought it was down, like, wait, it's for the balls up, keep playing. One of the best Beautiful. points we've seen here at the state tournament. And McDermott leads the team in kills and shows why they're a very aggressive front court player. Oof, miscommunication. Back to a three-point lead yeah, for hate Western. To, hate to see those unforced errors. Kind of, you got it, I got it. No, you take it. Yeah, it's too bad. Sutter's got to go in there for that second ball and own it. You get a great bailout again there by yeah, Winya. They're covering that tip. And they get the point. Largest lead of the set here for Western Christian. Great court coverage by Western Christian. We've got Winya back there. She's one of their top servers as well. 55 aces on the season. And a service I, error. Jinxed her. <laughs> hey, they're serving aggressive. <laughs> yep. As you look at Todd Troutman, been at Beckman Catholic for a long time, also serves as the school's athletic director. Semifinalist last year, this year to the finals. But Setter's doing a nice job. Beckman Catholic gets the point out of Kirsten Schmidt with the kill. She's been aggressive this tournament, only a sophomore, and really he plays a nice right side attack, a big 5 10 blocker out there. Leads the team in uh, blocks and will set on occasion too. Very uh, well rounded player out there. And we're going to see a lift. Or double hit, excuse me. Oh, I think uh, Olivia didn't quite get her hands underneath the ball, didn't get her feet under the ball, and a little miss hit. Good call there by the official. 3-0 run put together here by Beckman Catholic. There's a good pass. And this time, Western strong enough as Madison Viss, the junior, able to get credited with the kill. Right, again, Western Christians really got a nice... Uh, Varied attack, a lot of different players she can, they can go to, so the block really is not sure where they're going to go. But nice kill there by this. <laughs> Van Hole covers a lot of space in the middle. She does. 6 1, big hands, big arm, great technique. Tough to hit around that. Nice try though on the quick attack, but Van Hole right on the money there with that block. It's back to a three point lead. Good coverage. The bail out there by Hogan. And the point oh, earned good. by Schmidt. Schmidt has been money so far. Not used to blocking that, that left side there for Western Christian. A little bit late getting there, and nice job. Big elevation, big arm swing. 5'10 sophomore, Pearson Schmidt coming to play tonight. Really doing a lot, too, this year for Beckman Catholic. Very strong at the net. Second on the team, though, in assists. Yeah, she's a very all-around player. I think she could probably move into a setting role. Van Hole said, give me the slide. Yep. They called it and dialed it in there. 321 kills on the air. Leads the team with kills. Coach Verbeek going for a record championship today. But both teams really passing pretty well. A little tight ball there, nothing really she could do with that. And it's going to be hit long, a hitting error. 
And back to a two-point game, 15-13, as this one works its way through the opening set. Kristen Schmidt again, another nice hit, but a nice dig on the uh, Western Christian side, but a little bit long on that quick attack. Nice try to go on the quick, on the quick transition. And a service error by Hogan. A little nerves there, it's too bad. She's a sophomore, Libro. Now Grandstra. Well, now we'll have her in the back row as a setter, so she'll have uh, three hitters to go to as a back row setter. Oh. And the kill put down by Schmidt. She's Ooh. having a great day today, <laughs> Kirsten Schmidt. We mentioned second on the team in kills and now with five here in the opening set. All right, 63 blocks on the, on the year. Very impressive. Beckman has never had the lead here in this opening set. Nice roll shot off that deep set. Ooh, it's a tight one. Oh, and it was just set up for Paige McDermott. Almost. Got a little bit of in the net with her shoulder. Those are really tough. They're calling a net violation on Beckman, I believe, yep. That was a nice try there. So how about this? Jada Wills doesn't have a kill yet. Although she leads the team in kills at the state tournament, she has 38. She averages about 19 per set, or 19 per game, yeah. excuse me, and has been held out of no. check. Is Western doing this, or is this by design by Dyersville Beckman? I think it's it's really kind of a, by design with the block of Western Christian. She's tried tipping, she's tried hitting, and this whole, so far they've got her number. But it's nice to see they're moving the ball around. I think she'll get maybe get her some back row attacks, get her some middle attacks, mix her around. Get her a different place on the court where she can get in there and swing. When you cannot get that over, and it's a one-point set. Let's see where Grantsford grows now. She's got to, uh, to the called a 32 position. Again, kind of a tentative uh, attack there. And there There's is the a, first kill. There it is. A little nice roll shot. And her timing piece isn't quite there with the setter yet, but she's keeping the ball in play and finding a nice open spot on the court. Beckman Catholic has rallied from four back to tie it up here. And just like that, Western Christian gets the side out. Madison Viss. And Allie Postma out there as well on the front court now. So they've got some of their height out there, 5'11", 5 5'10". And Wynja is 5'10", so a big front line right now for Western Christian. And again, not good timing so far on that one with the setter. And it cost Beckman <laughs> Catholic a point. Western Christian cashing in here, 1917. And Granstra, really smart, kind of saw that uh, Beckman was a little out of sync, took that second ball over, they weren't ready for that. Smart play. Coima serve is gonna be long. A little too aggressive that time. Going for that back line. Now serving is Paige McDermott. Good defense, good court coverage. I love those high free balls. They're a little bit uh, different to pass. And some good scramble. The back set to win you with the blast. Great backcourt coverage there. Will shot handled. Van Hole with the tip. <laughs> Had some long rallies in this match already. Oh, that's a good, good spot there. That's a tough one to get when you're backing off the net. And the point will go. A double hit called against Western Christian, and we're tied wow. up at 19. Really good, really good comeback by Beckman. Playing some great defense back there. I believe that was Libro uh, Engelkin back there making some great defensive plays for Beckman. Now the tip over. Mm. A little miscommunication. Not quite up quick enough for that quick set. Western Christian with the point. Beckman tried to run the quick, but uh, Hitter didn't go quite quick enough to get up there, and so just had to tip it over. Had to go in aggressive. Wolfpack very balanced in their attack mm -hmm. here in this opening set. Mm -hmm. 
when you serve. Wills. Again, Wills is just, they're not uh, in sync there with the setter as far as the height of the setter, what play they're running, so. Opportunity here with the free ball. Back to Wills. There we go. Now she got it. <laughs> there it is. We knew it had to be coming pretty soon. <laughs> Look at the crowd. I think that was the first time she really got up and uh, gave a swing here. And again, the block was held, the block was late, so she had that one-on-one. -on -one. She knew she could swing away. Great job there by Jada Wills. Tied up for the sixth time in this opening set. Beckman Catholic has never had the lead till now. <laughs> That's great. And Lydia Hogan doing a nice job back there as they grow on defense. Great defensive block and coverage, and then Wills is coming alive here. Timeout taken by Western Christian. 21-20, Beckman Catholic has their first lead of the opening set. Andela's got to run, all right? Get her off the net a little bit so she can work either direction, okay? Keep getting the ball in the center, good position. Middles, you got to keep running, okay? Every time we're running. Hogan, you're up. Whenever they run that slide, you're up for the tip, okay? okay? You're staying up. All right, hey, keep the pressure on them. Keep having fun playing volleyball. Here we go. Here we go. Team, one to me. Team, let's go. Hey, you just keep talking to Sarah. Let her know where you want it. Good job. Those are some great things there. We saw that in the last play with the kill by uh, Janie Wills when she was one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. The middle blocker for Beckman is holding that middle blocker for Western Christian and going strong. So he said that middle's got to keep running, got to keep pushing to go to the middle to either a decoy or actually attack. And again, Hogan, the libero, is going to be up on that slide. They're going to tend to tip on that. So just some good constructive advice to uh, keep this run going here. Ooh, nice deep serve. And how about the block at the net by Beckman Catholic, Kylie Reber. That's great. And uh, Schmidt up there as well. Again, she continues to impress. Good job by double block. Reber and Schmidt up there all over it. Ooh, there's some trouble running down the ball. Great block, but great coverage. Will. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Smart play. Look at this. Woo. How about this run? This is great. Again, block is there, but beautiful tip. And that defensive player has got to be ready for that. Let's go to the Western Christian huddle. Go for it, okay? We need you to get that ball, okay? Because we don't want to all of a sudden have you guys all the way up and then go down the line. Stay in our perimeter, you go get those balls. If you see tip, they almost hold it and try to go over our block. Okay, but get set and then just pursue. Hey, we side out and we go after this. Ladies, hey, come on, fight, be gritty, okay, play to win. Team, one to day team. I think what we were just talking about in that last play where the defensive player was there but really wasn't ready to pick up that tip. And you know with Wills, she got to blocked a few times. She's going to be doing some different shots and not always just swinging away. So they've got to really be ready for any shot that comes over the net. Okay, Western Christian, either team really playing bad. It was just kind of a quick run of some really uh, smart play at the net by, by Beckman. has got him three points up. A little trouble handling the ball. And there's that Hogan covering the tip, just like Coach said. She's been everywhere, <laughs> and so has Beckman Catholic, and in particular, Kirsten yes. Schmidt. That right, right side attack has been deadly for Beckman. Beautiful. The block is late, nice cutback shot, and the defense didn't switch. Set point. Here we go. Great deep serve. Van Hole shot, blocked back. Free ball, let's see where they go with it here. And Schmidt got it in! <laughs> Just beautiful. And Michaela Kelker, a great center there, got her a quick back set, but smart offensive plays by Beckman. Beautiful win. An 8-0 run <laughs> to end the opening set for Beckman Catholic. What's in store for the second step? We'll find out when we return here on Iowa Public Television.
I can't explain how such an important moment in our history has been overlooked. And this is what the suffragists did in those decades before um, they actually achieved victory. They changed hearts and minds. They had to change not only the idea of who is a citizen who can vote, but what is a woman's role in society. Carrie Chapman Catt, I think, more than any woman suffragist, actually brought that suffrage amendment home. Coming this spring to Iowa Public Television. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hi, this is Marion Ross. Please join me and Gavin McLeod in a classic Christmas. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Saturday evening at 6. 25-20, how about that? An 8-0 run by Beckman Catholic to best Western Christian in that opening set. Hi again, everyone, with Sandy Stewart. This is B.J. Shaven. And Sandy, very impressive, but Beckman Catholic got some help from some unlikely characters here. Exactly. Christian Schmidt, a sophomore, really had a great, great match. But it was even until about 20 points, and all of a sudden, Beckman just went on a run, and they got the momentum. So we'll see if Western Christian can come back and... Uh, Turn it around in second set here. Let's take a look at the highlights here in the first set. It started with an opening ace by Western Christian. A very strong serving team, aggressive serving and blocking team. They had the lead for the most part of the first set, and Beckman really went on a nice run to uh, regain the momentum, had some nice off offensive plays. You can see here the quick sets. Quick sets really worked well. And the passing really got it going there. And Wills got hot late in the set. You can see there, and she finished with five kills, I believe, on the, on the set. But a big right side uh, strength there with uh, Kirsten Schmidt. Look at the kills by, that tells the story right there. Very uh, strong, aggressive kills with uh, the Blazers from Beckman. And even the defense, they're, they're really covering the ball, covering the court well with 19 digs. This is something that hasn't happened in a while. Western Christian losing a set here at the state volleyball tournament. Yeah. So the Trailblazers really blazing a trail, yeah, if you will. Exactly. Yep, exactly. No back and down, one versus two. Really good, good first game. Very competitive, very well played on both sides. Beckman just got hot there at the end and took the, took the first set. Ashley Engelkin will get us started in the second set. And the dig out again by Hogan, who has been nothing That's short of spectacular great. so far in this one. But Western says, we got the opening point, and they do. Sienna Moss. Yeah, really nice block out there. Coverage was there, but the block was just so good. It was almost straight down, really hard to get. Again, good kind of a bang-bang play up there. The middle blocker got there late, but she got there. Played but, up to the front row. Yeah, they were ready for that second ball. Mm. And a lift. Yeah. A little mishandle there. I think there was some miscommunication or I guess hesitation on what uh, Grantsburg was going to do there. And when you hesitate, you lose. So just got to make a decision and then go with it. Sandy, these two teams are very similar. We haven't seen any back row attacks oh, yet. Really? They play it right at the yep. net. Yep. There we see why. <laughs> McKay Van Hole with the kill. Yep. Big 6-1 player. Really big extension. Hard to block. And again, she cut it right inside that block there. A nice attack. And nice passing on both sides. And the kill. Oh. Is that Wills? Yes, Jada. Yeah, beautiful. When she gets a good set out there, she can really do something with it. We'll see. And again, the middle blocker is going to hold the block. The block's late. And she hit right between the blocks. So just what Coach Beckman said, or Coach uh, Troutman said, keep the uh, keep the middle hit going, middle blocker going. How 
about that. The change of direction in midair by Ali Postma. Pretty impressive. Yeah, nice hit there. And again, good set selection by Olivia Granstra. Kind of mixing things up and nice quick outside set there for the kill to Postma. Again, good passing. Some nice court coverage there. Schmidt. Oh, hey, she'll take him where she can <laughs> get him. That's her eighth kill. That's great. A really tight set, but smart play. She was able to kind of still keep the ball in play. Kind of starting where we ended off, a pretty competitive, evenly played uh, set here so far. And that's a beautiful pass. And then the kill by Western Christian Van Hole. I think that's probably her best attack is that slide attack. She's pretty hard to stop on that right side attack. 6-1, taken off on one foot, big reach. That's a hard one to stop. Close to the serve, handled by Beckman. Oh, nice hustle, look at that. <laughs> Stick a hand out, maybe it'll go over. And Schmidt. <laughs> Okay, nice defensive coverage there. Mm. And a side out here for Western Christian. I think they're gonna call a double hit there, so. Beg your pardon, Postma will continue Postma. to serve. I believe that was Moss on the block up there. Oh. And Postma is rolling here. And again, we talked about aggressive serving and good pass receive really started. So if Beckman's had a couple um, poor passes here, un unlikely. Un not likely that they do it too much. They've been passing fairly well. At the net, just a misfire by Beckman Catholic. A 4-0 run here by Western Christian. And a timeout going to be taken yeah, by good. Todd Troutman. Good timeout. He's just a little bit out of sync. Passing isn't quite there. Let's go to the Beckman Catholic huddle and hear what Coach Troutman is saying. Good job. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. All right. Hey. You got to stay aggressive. We got to pass better, though, okay? We got to pass better. We got to be able to run all our options, right? Keep reading what they're doing. Stay up. Keep talking. Keep playing. You got to have fun. You can't let yourself start sinking into it. Stay up. Keep talking. Do what you got you here, okay? Keep working hard. We're up, Let's go. We're up a set. We're not down. All we're up pressure. a set. Okay, so they had a lead the whole first game. Team, yep. one, two, three. Team. Let's go. They had some good points there that uh, Western Christian did have the lead most of the first set, and they came back and won. But passing has got to be where it's at. They just haven't passed well here in the last few points. So kind of get refocused and uh, get into that serve-receive and running an offense here. And have fun. It's a state tournament. <laughs> State championship. How many kids are going to come here and be in the state championship exactly? There's Abby Postma, the 5'11 senior serve. A good hustle running down that ball there. The slide. Yep. And this is going to be deflected out. Yep. Off the block. A 5 0 run here by Western Christian. I think that was Santa Moss, I believe, on the slide. So nice, nice kill there. Mm. Having a hard time getting that pass up there. I think it's our first backcourt attack. It is. <laughs> and handled by Beckman Catholic. Good coverage there by Beckman. Yeah, Hogan again. Oh. Love that left-handed setter. She can take it over. A little oh. mishandle there by Kelker. Sometimes that ball comes in a little high. A little hot and spinning, it's hard to handle sometimes. They give it up to Granstra for taking that second ball over. A nice, strong left-handed attack. And Schmidt miss hits. Yeah, a little miscommunication there on where the set was going. I think she thought it was going to be an inside set. It was outside, so she wasn't really in the best position. So nice run here, nice answer by Western Christian. Ooh, tough serve. And again, Dyersville Beckman 
The Beckman Catholic is unraveling yeah, here. Yeah, just a ball handling error is a little out, out of, of sorts right now. Need to get a good pass, run an offense. I think they got to go to, to Schmidt here on the right side. She's been effective. Let's see if that's where they take it this time here. They just got to get a pass. 8-0 run. Another backward attempt. Like to see the aggressive back row attacks. There's Schmidt. Had the big opening set, seven kills. But since this was tied up at 3 3, it's been all Western <laughs> Christian. Really smart play there by Grandstra. She knew that Beckman was pulled up, and so take that. She can take that second ball over. But great, great defense in the back row there. And again, Beckman up the cover and didn't get back to base position in time to. Uh, get deep in the court for that court coverage. Wills with the dig. A little scramble here. Let's see what they do with that. Oh. And now, <laughs> mishandled. Yeah, I think a little indecision. She was going to hit it, then she wasn't, and so didn't get the hands quite ready for a clean contact there. Abby getting a well-deserved rest. She was at the service line for quite a while. Olivia Hogan. Yeah, great defensive player back there now for the Trailblazers. Schmidt, well, able to get another kill. How about that? Her ninth. Yeah, she's doing great over there. Beck, uh, Chris, uh, Western Christian put up a nice block up there. They just got to really push over, hang a little bit longer, and really keep those hands over the net to get that ball in the other side. Beautiful pass. And block back. Mm. How about that? The Trailblazers getting the point. And this sophomore is carrying this team right now. That was a beautiful block. Look at that big swing. Her really nice hands over the net. Great technique. Again, not really swinging at the ball, but just putting your hands up there solid. The slide has yep. been effective yep. here for Western Christian. Yep. Nice back step there by Grandstra. Is that Moss with the kill there? Yeah, one of the juniors. Stems the tide a little bit for Western Christian. They had a nine point lead a moment ago. There's some good transition there. Setter coming out of the back row. Yeah. Is that Wienia? Yeah, Wienia. Another, I think they've got three or four left-handed players for Western Christian. It gives them a strength on the right side of the court. They've got some nice on-hand hitters with those lefties over there. Beautiful pass. And the quick tap put back by Sienna Moss. Yeah, good block there. Uh, you kind of see there that those blockers were camping out, so she didn't have much room to, uh, any, really any place to go with the ball. So nice big block there by Western Christian. I like that we're running slide here. Well, we got Tori up now. Okay, we have the great slide. Okay, make the middle move. Pin to pin, hands high on the block. Feet moving. We're quicker, we're in better shape. We're gonna wear them down. Okay, make a statement. Let's go. Okay, keep rolling. Team, one to the team. There's been a coach who's been in this position before. It's been Tammy Verbeek and been able to turn the ship around, and that's exactly what we're seeing here in the second set. Yep, and a great player in her own right back in the day, and now uh, 24 years in coaching, I believe, and doing a great job there talking about uh, just staying focused, staying aggressive. They've got the big block up there. It's like really using the middle blocker to hold their middle blocker. Well, they're here in Cedar Rapids so much. <laughs> they stay at the same hotel. They try to keep everything the same year yeah. over year. And, and think about those rewards points that they're building up <laughs> at the hotels. Exactly. And Beckman Catholic with a much needed side out. It's a good response there by yeah, McDermott, one of the seniors on the Beckman team. It's a good time out there by Coach Troutman to kind of break the momentum. Leah Wessels will now be in to serve. Okay, good coverage there. And the little puncher, Keely Schmidt. 
Very aggressive player. Now Wessels is setting out of the back row. She's one of their alternate setters they use on occasion. Come in strong back row player as well. Let's see what we do with this free ball here. And the net. That was kind of a lost opportunity, I think, for Western Christian. The, uh, the setter took the first ball, and so they had the alternate person had to try and uh, bump set. You gotta get that ball a little higher so the hitter can do something with it there. You see the coaches there. And Madison Viss will now come in to serve here for Western Christian. You saw the uh, hand signal for position five. That's position five in the right back court. They're serving that deep corner. A lot of times you'll pick on a player and serve to them, make them work a little harder all the way around the court. So you'll see, usually both teams will look, look at the bench uh, when they get ready to serve, like where, where's the target for the serve. Granstra able to get the kill. Or when you, I beg your pardon. A little reverse of fortunes here in the second set. That Western Christian not gonna go down without a fight. They're playing much better. Good quick reactions on both sides there. This is gonna be blocked out. Is that uh, Ungs over there, I believe. Yeah, nice swing there by Ungs, nice bump set. And blocked, just didn't seal over the net. You gotta get your hands over the net. She kind of knew that when she came down. It's like, really gotta press and seal that net with that block. Oh. And it will be Angleton able to get it down for a point. <laughs> How about that, 17 to 11. Dyersville Beckman not going away without a little fight here. Yeah, Angleton, one of the seniors on the team, really strong server. Beautiful pass there though. Wow, when you when you're a nice big strong player out there, that big lefty goes up and really cranks. And when you're used to blocking right-handed players, it is a little different when you're blocking a left-handed player. So Beckman's got to adjust and bring their block in just a little bit on those. And in the middle, Western Christian's height is a factor. Yeah. Ali Postma at 5'11". You know, and back row setter really can't do anything. You have to stand there and. Nice overpass kill there for Western Christian. There's a better pass. Oh, great dig. Nice save by the back row setter there. Mm. A little tentative, got to go up hard. Another long rally. We've had a lot of long rallies in this match. Some great action oh. here, but it hit the antenna yeah. on Western's last right. shot. Yep, then the attack was a little outside and she didn't bring it inside the antenna. Let's see if we can see that again. Yep, the swing hit the antenna. Yep, a little bit too much of a cross court, it's a cross body swing on that. Good block, good coverage. Good fundamentals, really, both teams. Beckman Catholic starting to make this thing interesting. Yeah, down by as many as nine, now it's down to six. A couple of hitting here for Western Christian. Got to get back into their flow here. Let's see what Granstra does. Maybe she'll take it over on the first, second hit here. Let's see if she takes it over. Oh, gonna go to the backside. Oh, great defense. When you block back and that's in. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Jada Wills. Wow. Oh, that's so fun when you get one of those big blocks, especially against a really good hitter. <laughs> that was great. Beautiful blocking, even a one-hand block up there, but very strong. Nice job by Wills. She's just a really good all-around player. Fun to watch. Ooh, that's a tough one to handle. Oh, oh. That's, that's a tough one. <laughs> Western Christian gets a much-needed side out. Yeah. Too bad Schmidt there, a little indecision. Those are a tough ones when they're over the over the net like that. You gotta be up and be ready to hit those or back off and set it to run your offense. But nice hustle, hustle by Western Christian. Mm. And a service error. 
Makes it a five-point set. Opening set won by Beckman Catholic, 25-20. The Trailblazers had a battle from behind by as many as four in that opening set. Down by as many as nine here in the second. Now Kelker comes in and she's the setter. Oh. Oh. Great blocks over there by Jada Wills. With help from Kylie Reber. Beautiful. Western Christian's got to cover that. Oh. And Michaela Kelker serve long. Trailblazers just chipping away here. Here's Allie Postman, who had a good service run early on in the set. Ooh, a tough pass. Good scramble. Mm. And Van Hole called upon again. Beautiful, beautiful uh, quick attack there by Van Hole. Olivia Granstra, really good connection with her, but it started with a perfect pass. Didn't catch who did that in the back row, but kudos to the back row player for passing that ball. There's another really good pass. Will shot handled the scramble. And it will be a oh. double hit. Oh. A little mishandle. Now Jada Wills on the serve. Who's one of the best here for Beckman Catholic. She's a great back row player too. Over uh, 250 gigs on the year. And Western with enough um flare out of Emma Westfall. One of the younger players on the team, only a sophomore, but 5'11", gets up there and swings high off the hand. Smart, smart shot. Again, we're talking about that balanced attack for Western Christian. They've got to keep moving the ball around. They've got a lot of hitters who can do damage out there. Western, solid up front. That was Chloe Ung. And Chloe, she comes in off the bench for to play the front row and does a nice job up there. Nice float serve, but really nice pass again. We're at set point. One thing's for sure, Beckman Catholic <laughs> had a chance to really fold early on in this set. They were down by nine. They got it down to four. Yep, came back there strong. But again, offensive attack by uh, Western Christian got going this set. Passing went well. Set point. There's the dump. Good coverage by Beckman. And we are tied at one set apiece. <laughs> Western Christian coming back here in the second set to win it 25 to 18. We've got the third set when we return as you're watching the Class 2A State Volleyball Championship here on Iowa Public Television. It's you I like. Hi, I'm Michael Keaton. Come to the Mr. Rogers neighborhood and celebrate the programs that have inspired more than four generations of children and parents. Oh, I love this. It's the one where you blow really, really hard. It's really magic. It's so far beyond just entertainment. Well-known friends share their heartfelt memories on Mr. Rogers, It's You I Like. Sunday afternoon at 6 on Iowa Public Television. Music, drama, DIY and Iowa architecture. Iowa Public Television's festival has it all. Join us in November and December. On this week's episode of The Best of Living in Iowa, we'll explore the life and times of Iowa artist Grant Wood, tell a kidney transplant story that is more than skin deep, and follow one man's dream to celebrate the spirit of giving. Saturday afternoon at 5.30. Join the conversation online with Iowa Public Television. Follow us on Twitter. Connect with us on all our social networks.
What a match we've seen so far. It's tied up after two sets. Beckman Catholic took the opener 25-20, and it was Western Christian taking the second set 25-18 with Sandy Stewart, B.J. Shaven here. And this has uh, been quite impressive. You know, it's a typical finals match. You've got one versus two. Neither team wants to give up, and uh, Western Christian came back and tied it, and now we're at best of three from this point forward. So been a lot of fun. Let's take a look at the second set highlights here. I tell you, Olivia uh, Granstra, the center for Western Christian, really got things turned around here in this second set. And the block got going for Western Christian as well, but we're seeing some of the highlights there of the Trailblazers. They came back and made a set of it, but the slide attack you can see for Western Christian with uh, Van Hull. The big block up there was hard to get around and the quick attacks out of the middle. Western Christian did a nice job with a variety of offensive attack there to take that set two and tie it up. You take a look at the numbers up on the board here. Of course, service aces equal at two. It's been pretty evenly matched between the two. Blazers have committed 13 errors, but they've been a defensive juggernaut so far here right, against it. Western Christian. A tale of two, two sets there. Onto the third set in the opening serve is a service error by McKenna Coima. No, oh, you don't like to see that. That's too bad. It's maybe a little coming out of a big win and got to get back in there and focus. She is one of their tough servers, so trying to serve tough. And then the ace <laughs> put together by Paige McDermott and Beckman Catholic. Something that uh, they didn't have much of in that opening set, but they got it at the right time. The lead opens up here with a 2-0 advantage. And both teams really hustling to cover the court. They ran out of court on that one, though. <laughs> yeah, Paige McDermott going right into the advertising. Yeah, good effort there, but uh, just ran out of court. Whoop. That's not good solid. Effort. Yeah, good effort there. 2-1 our score. This one starting to build more drama than the Pole Dark series finale, which aired right here on public television on Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> this is Look, fun. Looking at Pedro there. Hopefully he didn't get hurt running into that. Maybe just a little tweak there. Oh, off the noggin. <laughs> Out. Jada Wells. She's coming to play. The facial from Wills. <laughs> Nice big jump, big swing, those yellow shoes getting up in the air. Beautiful. Like, whew. Yeah. She's really hitting much smarter, bringing the ball inside the block. Let's see if Western Christian adjusts that block more to the middle. And Van Cole. Yeah. Pretty much money. Net cam. I love it. You can kind of see there, she just went outside the block. Those are really hard for timing, block up a little early. Nice kill there for Van Holt. The way these two teams are playing, everything <laughs> is at the net. That yeah. net cam is very That's accurate. Great. <laughs> see where they go with it here. And how about that for the youngster? Yeah, the, young, the youngest player on the, the uh, roster there for Western Christian, the sophomore. Beautiful swing, Edmunds Westfall, another tall one, 5'11", carrying on that tradition of big hitters there for Western Christian. Oh, that was nice. Good defense by he, Postma. Yeah, good coverage. And they're going to say that this was actually on the outside of the antenna. Yeah, Can I see here? Just a little too much, yep. Looks like it went outside the antenna on the attack. Nice quick of that attack there, though, by Beckman Catholic to force that. And a wide hit by Van Hole. Well, the set wasn't quite tight enough, and she went in a little early on that. So a little miscommunication on the timing with the setter there. Don't see that too often. Now Jada Wills. Wills. Good all-around player. And an ace. Yep, she leads the team in kills, leads the team in digs. Yeah, one of the top defensive players, great server. Really nice all-around player. 
Another <laughs> ace. How about that? And I think they're picking on that uh, server seat position there. Western Christian tends to go kind of in a deep semi-circle semi and they're not covering the short. So Coach Rubik is up there telling them to move up. So they're making an adjustment on that server seat. Let's see if she serves deep now. It's a good ball handle there. And in the middle for Beckman Catholic, Kylie Reaver. One of the things we talked about was defensive transition for the Trailblazers. They did it right there. A quick pass, quick approach. And Western Christian cut off guard, unable to get back to defensive position. So nice, nice run there by Beckman. Timeout taken by Western. Let's go to the Beckman Catholic Huddle. Caught with a tough pass. We got the option of popping it up and getting the back row swing, okay? Let's keep locking it in. Plant that left foot, and we're only going so far, okay? Big hands up there, Reaver, okay? Keep the pressure on, all right? Read everything you see. See it? You see the tip, you come up sliding, otherwise get the hands up. Team, one, two, three. Team, let's go. Everything. Let's go. Some great uh, tips there. So read everything you see. As a defensive player, you are reading the hitter. You're watching their approach. You're watching their shoulders, their arm swing, their hand. Being able to react to either a tip, an off-speed, really being ready for, especially when now that they're on, they're going to be trying an off-speed or something different. So really read that uh, offensive player. Jada Wills might still at serve. Might even watch for a second ball over here to see if they can uh, catch Beckman sleeping on defense. Yep, there it is. The sniper. See, I should have still be coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Grand struck. It's like, there we go. All right, that's what I called it. Second ball over. Good, good play there. And again, Beckman, got to be ready for that. You don't have to read the hitters. You need to read the setter. You got to watch that setter and see what they're going to do with the ball. You are the Tony Romo of <laughs> volleyball right now. I love it. <laughs> and how much spin? Nice, nice. Yeah, good transition there for Beckman. Great set by, uh, I believe that was Kelker on the set. But really like watching Schmidt on the right side. Really nice attacker over there. Kirsten Schmidt now in double digits mm -hmm. for kills. Beckman Catholic back to a five point lead. Their largest, matching their largest of the entire match. And Western with the answer, that's Westfall. Westfall's done well out there. They run a nice, quick outside attack. Really hard for the block to get there. Really good connection with Granstra and Westville on that outside, almost like an outside quick attack. Good pass. And Beckman Catholic right back to work with Paige McDermott. Really nice uh, quick set in the three position. The three position's a little bit farther away, but not all the way out. Again, really confuses the blockers on which direction to go there. Nice attack by Beckman. Now, Leia Wessels will serve for the Trailblazers. Oops. Hit some tape. Oh, what effort by Hogan. Yeah. Almost ran into yeah. the support. Little sophomore out there. She's been covering the court well. But nice kill by Winya. Big left-handed hitter out there. Another good pass. Good coverage though, big block by Western Christian. There's that second attack over. What a oh. scramble. <laughs> Great defense. Free ball here for Western. They go to the outside, Postma with the tap. Really smart play. Really smart play, I guess you think, think she's gonna be swinging hard, but a beautiful, nice big approach and then just quick tap. Yeah, I love the way that both hitters are ready to hit the ball. They're both approaching, so nice off offensive set there. Oh, what a strike by <laughs> McDermott. Beautiful. One of the seniors on the Beckman team. Western will set it up to the outside to Postma. Oof, a little joust at the net. Well, McDermott thought she had it, she gets it this time. 
If at first you don't succeed, try again. <laughs> yeah, that brings a smile to your face there. It's like, whoop. So try it once, up again, and let's try again. <laughs> what a battle. Good try there by uh, Western Christian to keep that ball up. But heads up play at the net by McDermott. And right back at them goes Tori Winya. Beautiful. I love having that right hand, that uh, left handed player up there on the right hand. She can fake the set and, or just take it over and uh, really effective play up there. Jada Wills and Winya almost thought she had the point there. Yep, good coverage, good scrappy play. Hogan will play it alive or play it up. Now Western gets the point. Van Hall again, really hard to stop up there. Nice scramble by Beckman. They're kind of clawing their way back in here, Western Christian is. You cannot celebrate <laughs> early on any point exactly. in this match. Wills, big swing. Nice dig over there by Granstra, the setter. Oof, a little miscommunication there. Hitter wasn't up. That is blocked out. Western Christian with the point, and here they come. They were down by as many as five. Now it's a two-point set. Nice swing there by Linia. Block didn't get that ball turned in. Boima serve. Long. Oh. Yeah, aggressive server. You know, have those every now and then, so. Kylie Reber will come back in on the rotation. And the tournament is the only returning starter. So a lot of new faces out there for Coach Troutman this year, doing well to get to the finals. Side out Western Christian. Postma. Again, Postma's had 214 kills on the year. Winya 226, Van Hull 321. They've got such a well-rounded attack. Western with back-to-back -back service mm -hmm. errors. That hurts. You can tell it bothers them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just one of those things you have control of, especially just a net serve. Oh, my goodness. And a gift right back from Beckman Catholic. The team's maybe a little tired here, a little off, out of focus here. Halfway through the match. We've seen some long, <laughs> grueling points yeah. here. And mentally, yeah. that has to wear yeah, on you. Exactly. You got to get back there and focus. It's your target. Focus on your target. Wills. <laughs> and what a dig by Postma. Yeah. Good coverage there. Again, good, good coverage. Hogan was up there. Now Wills. Yeah. Both teams really playing some great defense. Great transition. What a back set. Mm. Schmidt can't get it down. It's blocked back. Yeah, one of the few times I think uh, Kirsten, Kirsten Schmidt just wasn't quite ready for that up a little early on the ball. But again, Posta playing some nice defense. Had some good digs in that rally. And at the net, Western Christian with a gimme, Olivia Gramstra. A little overpass. Wait, up there and ready for it. We are tied at 14. <laughs> Western Christian has battled back from five down to tie it. Nice extension. Grant's just playing some good defense over here too for Western Christian. Hogan with the... Yeah. Good, good court coverage on both sides. <laughs> and Van Hole says, just <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> a big 6-1, middle blocker, middle hitter. And she's driving, she's working hard, give me the ball. Beautiful, yep. And Beckman a little bit on their heels. Nice rally. Time out for Beckman Catholic. Let's go to the Wolfpack huddle. Okay, they got that right side over there. If there's a hole in the block, just collapse in it. Okay, we want Emma to take a step over so she doesn't jump away. You just gotta work your butt off here, McKay. Get a touch, 
keep swinging. We made a great comeback. Now we got to go take this game from them. Let's go. Go take it. Okay? Relentless defense starts with the block. Right now, team, one to these team. Really talking about uh, blocking position, and McKay uh, Van Hull has really got to keep trying to get to that outside attacker. Even if she's late, she's got to get there and get the hands up. Uh, Emma Westfall's doing a good job on the outside setting the block, and she's just got to really encourage her middle blocker, uh, Van Hull, to get over there and join her so they can close that block. So really, the, one of the keys we talked about was their dominant uh, blocking performance so far here in the state tournament throughout the year. So really outstanding blocking team. Ali Postma, the 5'11 senior, will continue to serve. Free ball here for the Wolfpack. There it is. Van Hall will deposit it. Yep, and she's working hard to keep that, keep that quick attack going there in the middle, getting rewarded by Granstra by getting the ball. Ten kills from McKay Van Hall. Yep, really good, good match. Schmidt. Schmidt. <laughs> Found like a good connection on that one for sure. So. Now Jada Wills will come back to serve. We've got Granstra in the front row now, so she can be an offensive threat or set the ball. We got a three ball. Schmidt with another kill. That's her 12th. Really nice set. Middle blocker for Beckman was driving to hold the block. It's Kylie Reber, so she's doing a good job of playing her part there to get a one-on-one -on -one situation out there with that block. Tied once again. <laughs> and the kill put down by Westfall. Or make it McKay Van Hole. Oh, and she kind of, again, a nice job with the offensive design. They're pulling the hitter out to position three. It's not in the middle, not in the outside, kind of between the middle and the outside. Hard to bring those two blockers together to be effective. Nice pass. And right in the middle, they go to Kylie Reber. Yep, she's been effective when she's up there. Nice drive. We got Meg Dermott back in the front row for Beckman as well. We've had one lead change so mm. far here in the set. It was a big one. Western <laughs> Christian down by as many as five. <laughs> the slide effective again. Yeah. Yeah. Sienna really Moss. Nice, nice combination play there. Beautiful takeoff right inside the block. Nice deep corner shot by Moss. Talk about that multi-balance or balance attack. And many hitters that uh, Grantsler can go to. Is that deflected? <laughs> yeah, they're going to say it was tipped. Tammy Verbeek not happy with the call. But the official, the linesman on the far side, and now Western's yeah. going to try to challenge it. Yeah, well, there's two lines people. Either one can call it, and sometimes if you're the lines person closest to it, you're blocked. But the other lines person could probably see it. The one who called it out, the opposite lines person did see the touch. I did believe there was a touch. Even though we have great footage and yep. coverage here on <laughs> Iowa Public Television, the officials cannot go to the monitor to check a call. Unlike college, in college you can actually have a couple challenges and watch a replay, but don't have that at the high school level. Well, let's not institute it either. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a game of uh, human error sometimes. And, and they're going to say that's long. Long and no touch on that one. Yep. See some of the... Fans in the crowd there. Two point run here for Western Christian. Really good pass by Wills. <laughs> McDermott. McDermott, that's great. But they started with that great pass from Wills, and she had to kind of get in a really tough position. You kind of see she had to really get down there low to get that beautiful pass. So credit to Wills for starting that transition. 
and for McDermott for finishing it off. <laughs> Great block coverage there. Ooh. And we're gonna see a miss hit. They're, they're calling it pretty tight on the double hit, so yeah. setters have really gotta have clean hands. Get those hands up there, no indecision. Get those that ball out of your hands quick. Back to a two-point lead. From set number three of the Class 2A state championship match. Really nice passing platform there by Hogan. Blocked back by McDermott. Back to a one-point <laughs> set. You can see the net cam here. You can kind of see hands up there. Not sure if the ball even cleared the net. Let the ball drop a little too low. You got to reach the ball at the height. Really nice pass. Mm, big block. Mm. Good hustle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Beckman Catholic will tie it up at 21. Wow. Our fifth tie really? of the set. <laughs> We've had one lead change. Really good match. Really like the passing on both sides. Both teams passing well. <laughs> and Western Christian will hold the advantage. Okay. You can tell if that was Postma out there. Or... I think that was Postma. Yep. Nice outside pull there. I'll win you. Wills with the big shot, but handled by Western. Great defense. Here she goes again, and this time, <laughs> the slugger, the one-timer. I love it, boy. When you didn't get me the first time, I'll do it the second time. And again, oh, again, Block has got to get up over the net. This is what Coach Rubik was talking about. Seal the block. Nice attack there by, by Wills on the quick outside set. And Grant Hole off of the slide yep. again. Their go-to. Yep, great set by Grantra. Good selection. Nice choice there. Beautiful back set. Almost had the set that, or the block there. It was uh, Wills, I believe. Now Postma. Oh, nice hustle. When you will put it up. I think they missed the back row attack there. But going to be blocked out. Westwall again with another kill. The sophomore coming up in big moments. That's your third kill, and we're at set point. <laughs> and a timeout by Be Beckman Catholic. Yeah, and set three is so critical because it gives you such a psychological advantage knowing that you're up, you know, 2-1. You just need to win that one. Get a pass. We got great options here, but we got to just get the pass. Everybody covers. We're swinging away. Let's go. Team, one, two, three. Team, let's go. Well, just big fundamentals. Let's get that pass. We've got the offense to do it. Probably talking to his setter there, um, Kelker, about what our options could be here. But got to start with that pass. Credit to Western Christian for fighting back. They were down early in this set. Come in strong. Big blocking, really good serving. Both teams playing great defense. Ali Postma serving at set point here for Western Christian. So we've got Schmidt in the front row for Beckman. Let's see if they go to her. Going out to Wills. Wills, the changeup. Mm -hmm. Wow, nice shot, smart shot. And big block, and she's really hitting smart. Right over the top, easy roll shot. Still on set point, Jada Wills will serve, and a timeout taken by <laughs> Western Christian. Tammy Verbeek, let's see what she has to say here. First ball kill, we're gonna go pin to pin. Okay, you got Emma out here, if we're scrambling, throw it high and don't leave it short. Go high to the pin from a okay, if we can, and you reach. If you have to tip, we tip deep down the line and we're covering like crazy. Okay, we need the first pass. First ball kill, we do this all the time. First ball kill, we win. Okay, 
Side out, one to three, side out. <laughs> like that philosophy, just get a good pass and first ball kill. So high outside to um, Westfall, who's in there now, big 5'11 hitter, or we've got Van Hall on the slide. So those are the two options, but it's gonna start with a pass, so first ball kill. See if the uh, team can uh, follow coach's orders here. Jada Wills will serve. Van Hall with the quick tip, Hogan with the dig. Schmidt blocked back. Good coverage. Oh, <laughs> wow, about that. Wow. The decisiveness wow. of Chloe Ungs. Wow. Yeah, caught him kind of sleeping there, kind of in, in no man's land. That's, you either got to be at the net or off the net. And when you're at the, the net and don't get off, it's, there's a really uh, open spot there. So smart play there by Wills. No, it wasn't Wills, it was um, McDermott, I believe. Tied at extra points, the block back. Schmidt. How about that? Our first, wow. make it our second lead change of this set. Wow. Beckman Catholic <laughs> showing some fortitude here to come right. back. I'm talking about guts. Playing under pressure. They were down, they had three set points potentially, and now they're serving for the set. Set point for Beckman Catholic. Westfall with the shot. Oh. <laughs> Tied at 25. <laughs> Deuce, first team to win two in a row now. We're in overtime. What a set. Let's see how far we go here. What a match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Abby Postma will serve. Good deep serve. Oh. An error. On a little indecision there. Tammy Verbeek is fired up. <laughs> Set point now for Western Christian. We've got Branster in the front row to, oh boy, and a missed serve. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's like a, the coaches are like having heart attacks right now. So he's been there. I mean, <laughs> mentally, we're <laughs> only in the third set. I know. But the third set is so critical. You're up two-one. It's psychologically, you know, you've just got one more to win, and you're done. Again, slide attack. Beckman's been playing pretty good defense back there. Out of the middle. Good court coverage. Schmidt with the tap over. Mm -hmm. Now Westfall. <laughs> Advantage Western Christian. Big side out there. And now set point oh, again okay. here for Western Christian. Good effort there by Hogan. Sammy Verbeek telling her team one more point. Oh, a good pass by Wills. Beautiful pass. Now Schmidt. Oh, what a dig! Great. Coima. Right up there. Both teams playing some great defense. Oh, look at that. Great dig. And Hogan right there. Good coverage. Schmidt with the blast. <laughs> Westfall. Oh, handled by Hogan oh, at the net! And Western Christian gets wow. the point and the set. <laughs> wow, how many lead changes we have in that one? Whew. Really good set. 28 26. Western Christian takes a two <laughs> sets to one lead. We will go to the fourth set when we return. What activity here on Iowa Public Television? Coming up on the next Iowa Outdoors. That's the danger zone when you fly low. Welcome to a very special adventure themed episode of Iowa Outdoors. See it Wednesday at 6.30 on Iowa Public Television. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hi. 
This is Marion Ross. Please join me and Gavin McLeod in a classic Christmas. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Saturday evening at 6. Sustaining membership is an easy, convenient, and affordable way to support the programs you love. When you become a sustaining member, you make your ongoing monthly contribution from either your checking account or credit card. Just choose the monthly amount you'd like to give, then go online or call, and we'll set it up for you. Your donation will happen automatically each month, so your support will always be current. If you want to change your sustaining membership, just contact us. Become a sustaining member today and support the programs you love. Join Iowa Public Television for Festifall, a celebration of music, drama, and history, coming soon. You catch your breath at home? <laughs> Get something to drink? Why not? We have played three sets here. Beckman Catholic took the opening set 25-20. Western Christian comes back to take the next two, including 28-26 in that third set. With Sandy Stewart, BJ Shaven along with you, and Sandy, a lot of action out there. Ooh, I tell you, catching my breath after that win. 28-26, a lot of lead changes, a lot of fun volleyball, just really fun volleyball, great court coverage, really two good teams. Hate to see one lose, but uh, we'll see if Beckman can come, come back and make it a five-setter. Well, here's the highlights out of that third set. Beckman Catholic started out on quite the roll. They had a five-point lead. Western Christian was starting to see, oh, no, this thing's slipping away. But then the Wolfpack rallied back here. They tied it up and then were able to take the lead late. Each team had an opportunity at set point, but could not put the other one away until Western Christian did, winning it 28-26. Here's your statistics. And you can see very uh, evenly balanced teams, a little bit more um, on the kills for the Western Christian. But air is pretty equal, block pretty equal. Two really good teams, really fun volleyball to watch. So Beckman Catholic will serve here to start this fourth set. This is a young team. Psychologically, are they damaged after yeah. that third set? You know, that was a tough loss, and you think you're in it there and then lose it, so. And that's gonna be in. The Wolfpack get the opening point to be in the fourth set. Yeah, nice back set there by Grandstra to Wienia. They've had a lot, of good, a lot of good combinations there for the kill. When the serve is going to be long, a service error. That was a close one. Some of the wolf pack didn't like that call, but <laughs> I think it was out. Well, Paige McDermott, Winya. Well, Branch has got three attackers now. Let's see where she goes. When you again with the blast, Trailblazers trying to rally back. Nice hustle. Schmidt able to get it over. Good court coverage here, another free ball. Let's see if they run a 32. And a long point. Mm -hmm. Wills will keep it up. Schmidt over. Western Christian with another hack at it here. And a nice defensive play back there by. I think that was McDermott and Angleton. Good, good core coverage on both sides. Postman shot handled. Oh. Mm. And then a error. That's, that's too bad. A double yeah. hit. Just yeah, could not get the fingertips around. Not used to handling the ball. That's why all everybody, if you're a young player, you've got to work on your ball handling skills. You never know when the ball's coming to you. You've got to be able to set it. So. Even if you're a hitter, you've got to have really good ball handling skills. Nice up there by Wills. I tell you, both teams really well fundamentals, excellent fundamentals. Good court coverage, good block coverage. And now the block. We're tied at two. Kind of a slow developing play there in the middle and the block was really ready for it. 
Beautiful, wow, beautiful technique there by Wills. And an ace. Tough serve. Beautiful. Kelker. One of our centers there, Junior. And that will get in. Ooh, nice shot right down the line. Beautiful up and turn. She does a nice job of coming up for a cross court and then turning her body and pulling an arm straight down the line. Good, up. Yeah, good block, good coverage. I love this camera angle. Thanks, guys. You can really see how the defense moves on the court. Or watch that middle attack there. Beautiful. 4-3, Western Christian. Nice quick attack by Van Tol. She's got to keep driving, got to be up there. Ooh. Schmidt Tough. kept it up. Tough save there for a back row setter when you get a tight pass. <laughs> the Wolf Pack starting to find some holes here. And the Westfall's been effective there, the sophomore on the outside. Getting a lot of support for her and her upperclassmen teammates. <laughs> Trouble. Nice aggressive swing out of that back row bump set. And Westfall able to get it in. Another kill for the sophomore. With a lot of kind of slow developing uh, offensive plays in that set. Kind of think that defense kind of went to sleep there a little bit for Beckman. Got to stay on their toes, got to stay deep in the court. Seven kills for Emma Westfall. Oh, that balance attack there. She's going to be blocked out. Really smart play by. Uh, I think that was Schmidt out there. Used the block, wiped off the block. Now Jada Wills. <laughs> really been limited offensively, just seven kills, but has been effective at serve. Yep, good all-around player, great defensive player, making, making some nice passes. There she is again in the back row, playing some great middle back defense. Both teams, both are having a hard time getting the ball down. Oh, good recovery there, Hogan. Yeah, thought about it and then yeah. pulled it back here at the last yeah. second. What a long point again. Yeah. Uh-oh. Western Christian will get the point. Yeah, a little miscommunication. Kind of, uh, Kylie Reaper kind of got caught in no man's land, was going to go for it, changed her mind. That's a tough one there. Almost picked up there by Kelker. Good try. 14 kills for Van Hole. Schmidt. This is going to be a side out for the Trailblazers. Tied and make it 6 5 Western Christian. And Pearson Schmidt, very effective on the right side. Really only a sophomore playing well here in her first state tournament final. That's just in. Is that uh, West Hall again? Yeah, she's been doing well. I think what's helping though, we've got uh, that, that hole driving in the middle, holding that block. So it's not just the outside attacker, the middle blocker's got to help by keeping that, that drive to hold the blocker to get out there. Winya yeah. locked out and boy, Western Christian. She's really effective out there, Winya. I like, really like her arm swing. She gets ready for the big attack, her big approach, and uh, gets up there and really swings. Tooled the block that time. I think we're pretty close to a timeout here. 
I think so. We're getting there. I think Coach Troutman over there is pacing the sideline. He's thinking about it. That's going to be long. Side out, Beckman Catholic. So Keely Schmidt will come in. And also coming in for Beckman Catholic is Leah Wessels. We'll serve. She'll do some setting from the back row as well. Just only a sophomore, so I cut one of the younger players on the team. Oh, good court coverage there on the tip. Nice pass. Winya with the blast again. Nice. She's got nine kills. Yeah, but she's doing great out there. I give uh, credit to uh, Grandstra, the setter for Western Christian, really mixing up the offense. She's doing some quick middles, back sets, really keeping Beckman's uh, blockers a uh, little off balance there. Madison oh. Bass with an ace. Beautiful. That was a beautiful serve. You think it was going to go out and it dropped. Again, good fundamentals to mean you're going to follow that ball out. But with the float serve, it can dive just like that. Give it <laughs> and then take it away. <laughs> Tried to skim the net there a little too close. Beckman Catholic. We'll rotate back in. Ashley Engelkin. She's a defensive specialist. Good server, had a lot of digs this year for the team. Schmidt did a better job that time handling the ball. Nice outside set. Well, when you're feeling it from the outside, here's Wills. Nice cover on the, on the second ball over. Nice to see Schmidt in their setting. It's great. They kind of do some mixed, different offensive sets there with Beckman. Wills with the blast. Somebody else needs to set. Another long rally. <laughs> and Western Christian wins out. Back to a four-point lead at 11 to seven. Another long, long rally. Sometimes you get tired, you get a little uh, Lazy, a nice little off-speed shot by Weenia. She caught this spot open there. Now Coima serving. Oh. Good reaction there by Van Hull. Darsville Beckman will take a timeout here. Todd Troutman. Yeah, a little bit out of sorts. He's not well, playing their game right now. Calling for that timeout right now. <laughs> If we're going to send the free ball over, we got to send it deep, okay? If we get something on the outside and they're camped on us, we got to go try and go deep line, okay? We got to get them out of there. Okay? They're covering everything. They're doing a great job. We got to stay in system more, okay? Lock in on our passing, lock in our focus, okay? Forget score, play point to point, okay? Lock in on what they're doing and communicate. Let's go. Let's go. Words from Coach Troutman, 12-7. His team is down in the fourth set. Well, this is the Class 2A state championship game, and our crew has been here all afternoon, all day, as a matter of fact. Since 10 o'clock this morning, they've been trapped in a truck <laughs> and out on the cameras trying to make sure there they are. <laughs> Doing a terrific job pushing all those buttons, making everything come alive at home. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage here on Iowa Public Television today. As Western Christian will get the point, they take a 13-7 lead. And when you think about it, the day got started with Cedar Falls besting Valley in the 5A title game. Then, of course, in the Class 4A state championship game, Sergeant Bluff Luton, a winner. Then in 3A, it was Mount Vernon defeating Kemper Catholic. And now here in the 2A game, Western Christian. And Beckman Catholic battling it out. It's a five-point game. And coming up next at the conclusion of this one, it'll be the Class 1A state title game. And, of course, Western Christian going for some history with their coach. She'll be the all-time winningest coach in history, beating uh, former Wallet coach Tom Keating. 
So it'll be a big uh, moment for Coach Verbeek if, she, if they win tonight, she'll have the record. Oh, a little joust at the net. Nice, strong push there by Van Hull. And the kill coming from the outside from Western Christian's Ali Postma. Postma. Again, they've got such a diverse attack with Postma, with Winja, with uh, Westfall. You've got Van Hull. So really balanced attack there. And Grant's just setting a really nice offense for Western Christian tonight. Wolfpack wearing them down. Throughout this one, the third set, of course, went into extra points. <laughs> Western Christian winning it. And now we're starting to see the effects <laughs> mentally yeah. of that third set right. when it's 15-9. That's it. When you get that third set, it kind of puts you over the hump a little bit. And we're kind of seeing that right now. Beckman Catholic, like the timeout, he said, you got to pass the ball. Forget the score. Play hard. Forget what the score is and just get back into system. Get back into passing. Good block, but good coverage there by Western Christian. And Postma again with the shot. All right, they got uh, Keely Schmidt, must be a sister to uh, Kirsten out there on the right side, trying to block there, but nice big swing by Postma for the kill. You mentioned Tammy Verbeek, her team serving now, leading it 16 to nine, their largest lead at seven. And Will is able to get the side out for Beckman Catholic. 16-10 our score, but yeah, look at the Beckman Catholic fan base that came here and a lot of energy they've provided here over the week. Yeah. And they like seeing themselves yeah. on TV. It was great. So all the teams really bring a nice uh, support group from hometown and makes a fun week of it to come down to the USL and cheer their team on. Right up there by Kel Kelker. Beautiful bump set. Postmo oh. will get the kill. Smart, smart shot. She wasn't in a position to really swing. And again, this is what Coach Trotman was talking about, reading the hitter. You knew that all she had was really a tip. You've got to move in on that and be ready. Westfall will come back in on the rotation. Ali Postma back to serve. Fifteen state titles for Western Christian. Beckman Catholic trying to get their first. They've got a rally here. It's a nice bump set. Beautiful top spin attack there by Jay Wills. Again, Beckman was a semifinalist last year, so making a good showing here in the finals for the first time. And where Grantsford goes with this. Nice slide attack. Too, too hot to handle there for Kelker, but nice try. Here we see the Western Christian fans that came way across the state. It's Tammy Verbeek, 48 and eight, all time at the state tournament. <laughs> that was amazing. Talk about a dynasty. I think that beats the Steelers and the Patriots and <laughs> Iowa wrestling, you think about the all-time dynasties in sports, and uh, she's, she's right up there. Western Christian right up there. As you mentioned, going for her 12th state title. As this is gonna be long, and it's gonna make it 19 to 11. Western Christian, and a timeout taken here by Beckman Catholic. Let's hear from Coach Tammy Verbeek. I know you can feel it. I can feel it too. Take a moment to soak it in. Okay, we're up 1911. Okay, soak it in. I love you guys. Let's go beat state champs. Let's go. Right now. It's ours for the taking. Take it. Team, when do they team? Well, she's got some great assistants that have also been a part of this Western Christian program. Assistant coach Amy Bausma played on the 89 and 90 state title teams. Robin Drews played in the 1993 state title game for Western Christian. So yeah, they've been a, they've been a yeah. part yep. of this program for a long time. And what did I read? I think in the program, 37 years they've been at the state tournament. 37th appearance, 19 in a row they've been at the state tournament. So quite the dynasty. And their only losses really were to three teams out of uh, Omaha when they went to play a, a tournament over in uh, Nebraska. 
and a couple losses here to Waukee and uh, Sergeant Love Luton, which is the champs in 4A. 4A so. Beckman Catholic looking for a rally here. Got Paige McDermott coming in. Maybe she can pick him up. They need to, a couple players have really got to kind of take it on their shoulders to show some leadership, get some energy going on the floor, get excited about a play, kind of try and get that momentum back. There's that Wills back there digging again. Schmidt. Can't, can't fault either team. They've been playing some great defense. Nice job covering that. And again, Granstra, Granstra on the second hit over. They were ready for it, but second hit over, nice attack. So Beckman Catholic was wanting to get a net violation mm, there. So. And they kind of slowed up their play, thinking yeah, the call think so. would be made. Yeah. And a kill, Westfall. Westfall, she's coming to play. What's that make for her there? Nine kills for Westfall. She's played well. But again, with Western Christian, you've got so many offensive uh, weapons, really hard to defend. From the back row, Jada Wills. Love the aggressive swing by Wills. Nice block up there by McDermott. <laughs> They're playing a lot of defense. Got to get onto the offensive role here. Schmidt shot handled. <laughs> and it rolled along the tape and let the Trailblazers win. Sometimes you just got to be lucky. Got to be in the right spot. She put her hand out there. and Good, good hitter coverage there by uh, Beckman Catholic to keep that ball in play. So Wessels will come in to serve. Got the returning senior up in the front row, McDermott. And an ace for Wessels. And Wessels only a sophomore. Nice serve there. So a comfortable lead for Western Christian. And a little long service error. The energy a little bit low now on Beckman's side. They're going to have to get some uh, leadership there. Looks like Chloe Young's trying to pick up the team there, get some energy. In volleyball, anything can happen. We've seen teams go on big runs, so see if they can put one together here. Western Christian now two yeah. points away from the Class 2A state championship. They're feeling it now. Yep. How about the senior class and their run here in Cedar Rapids? Now just a point away. We're at championship point. Yep, nice, nice match there. Really good four set, commanding four set here for Western Christian. The balloons are ready. Will they fall? 24-14 championship point. Not yet. Substitution for the Lakers, number three, Ashley Eagleman. McDermott, I think, on the kill there. This is one of play to finish. Got to keep fighting. Oh, really good serve. See what they do with this free ball here. Wills. Good court coverage there. Winya. Long. <laughs> Celebration delayed. <laughs> they was kind of holding their breath on that one. Still a championship point. Really nice pass. Winya. <laughs> 
<laughs> Western Christian, your class 2A state champion. They lose the opening set, but come back to win the next three, 25-18, 28-26, and 25-16, and the championship balloons are falling. So yeah, congratulations, Western Christian. Really had a great team. They're so well coached. Such a history there. Uh, great kudos to Beckman Catholic as well. A really competitive match. They have a lot of young players, and they'll hope to get back here next year. Tammy Verbeek now has the record in the state of Iowa, 12 state championship <laughs> titles, and she knows it. <laughs> That's great. Ladies, your shirt. All right, they all get to, the nice thing that the uh, union is doing is all the championship good job, teams good job, good get the uh, championship t-shirts to put on. So here we go, Weenian, one of their big att attackers, and right down the line, beautiful kill for the state championship. Love the celebration. And even though she's been here how many, 19 years, everyone is special, I'm sure. Always a new round of kids you're bringing through this program. And each championship memorable <laughs> for Western Christian. And here in 2019, no doubt, memorable as well. It is time now for the naming of the all-tournament team. Here's a public address announcer, Gina Rogers. Jim Beamer and Travis Fleshner presenting awards to the 2019 Class 2A All-Tournament Team is John Sanbuthy, Regional Manager for Iowa Farm Bureau. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 Class 2A All-Tournament Team from Western Christian, McKay Van Hall. From Western Christian, Olivia Grenstra. From Beckman Catholic, Kirsten Schmidt. From Clarion Goldfield Downs, Morgan Middleton. From Osage, Paige Kisley. From Western Christian, Tori Wienia. And your Class you. 2A All-Tournament Team Captain from Beckman Catholic, Jada Wills. How about that? Your all-tournament team and your captain, Jada Wills, out of Beckman Catholic. She's joined by McKay Van Hole, Olivia Granstra, Kirsten Smith of Beckman Catholic, Clarion Goldfield Dows, Morgan Middleton, Paige Kisley of Osage, Tori Winya of Western Christian, and Jada Wills, again, the all-tournament team captain. And uh, very well spoken for her. She's, you know, not in, on the uh, winning team, but she had such a great tournament. Uh, All-around player, really helped the team get to the finals. And head coach, Todd Trotman, the Trailblazers. And now your 2019 Plus 2A champions, Coach Jimmy Barbeek and the Wolfpack from Western Christian. What a run by Western Christian, their 17th championship. They get it done here this afternoon as they best Beckman Catholic three to one. Such an impressive performance. You know, the pressure's on them every year to come back and perform. And they do it every year. Coach for Beat, congratulations on you know, the new record and uh, just an overall great state championship for uh, for the 4A and 2A teams here. Again, Western Christian, your winner. They win it three sets to one over Beckman Catholic.
Here's Andy Stewart. I'm BJ Shavin saying so long here from now here at the U.S. Cellular Center in Cedar Rapids. Again, Western Christian, your winner in the Class 2A title game. Stay tuned, though. The 1A championship will close out the day. Wapsie Valley takes on Sydney. What a matchup. That's your 1A title game coming up next as you've been watching the State Volleyball Championships here on Iowa Public Television. Funding for the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union, Iowa Farm Bureau Girls State Volleyball Championships is provided by... The path to greatness starts early. The Iowa Farm Bureau believes in Iowa's youth and their pursuit of greatness. That's why we're proud to be the title sponsor of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Each student's effort is important, and when one rises, we all rise to a better Iowa. Fairway, along with Nabisco, Frito-Lay, and Sara Lee, is a proud sponsor of the Iowa Girls Sports Championships. We congratulate all the schools and student athletes participating in this year's Girls High School State Volleyball Championships. Fairway, proud to care for the places we work and live. By Musco Lighting, the sports lighting specialists, providing lighting systems for you, your project, and your community.